Hi guys, Adrian Cahill here, and I'm going to share with you how to get the most out of a Tony Robbins UPW, Unleash Your Power Within, or a DWD, Day with Destiny. UPW is a shorter one, DWD is the main attraction, the bigger one. So I'm going to show you how to get the most out of that. And this can also be applied to something like a Harvey Ecker or a, I guess a whole range of motivational events. Because you see all these events are focused on one thing and this is you becoming a better you, a new you, yay! So if you're investing $10,000, $5,000 on a coaching program or a motivational event, do you want to know how to get the most out of it? Do you really want to know how to get the most out of it? Okay. So this is, a, this is a challenge, right? We start with our knowledge. These guys, Tony Robbins, you can read his book. You can read his book. 1995, you can probably download it for free. You can get the books, you can get the knowledge for free. You can get the knowledge for free. But you're at the event with Tony Robbins and he gets you motivated and you get the emotional charge. Yeah, I'm gonna take control of my world, yeah. And this is great, right? So you go into these events, you get the knowledge, you get the motivation, you get the emotion to change. Now you get really high emotion with good knowledge so you can make the change and step up to be the person you wanna be in this world, which is great. Now if you saw my other video, a lot of people get here, but they come home from Tony Robbins, they're like, ooh, a whole new them. Then they get sucked back down, sucked back down, brought back down by the environment around them. Third one, embody us, there's gonna be the solution for you. But let me iterate this last point. Uh, circle, different people, you go to Tony Robbins, you come back a new you, you come back a new you, there's a complex network of relationships around you, tasks, roles, responsibilities, people, and they're not equipped to handle the new you. So they pull you back down to the old you. Perhaps you've been a Tony Robbins, or you're gonna go, right? And uh, you're working on your wealth. You're working on your wealth. You're like, I'm gonna be rich, I'm gonna be rich, I'm gonna be rich. You get into Tony Robbins, Wow, I can do it. You know, you get some knowledge, you get strong emotion. I'm going to be rich. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Then you get back home and you got to pay your bills. And you're like, damn, damn, damn. Or perhaps you're working on your health. You're at Tony Robbins. You're getting, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to walk every morning. Yeah, yeah. You lose five kilograms at Tony Robbins, right? Then you get back in your life. And next thing you know, Oh, is that donuts? Or I want pizza or alcohol. You go back to your cravings, addictions, and the emotions. Yeah, everything from the past brings you back down. So in preparing yourself, what you gotta know is, is that you really need to step the fuck up. So Tony Robbins tries to do this and they do it. It's just the amount they do it. So moving from motivation, where you start feeling excited, we need to embody it. So moving into your event, you need to be prepared to embody the changes. Embody. What's the difference? Well, knowledge you can get from a book. There's tons of knowledge out there. I could wave a million dollars in front of you and throw it and you'll get motivated to go and get it. Yet most people that will get it will be broke again in, in a year or two. You know, as you know, lottery winners have a curse. They lose all the money in years because they haven't embodied being a millionaire. So let's start with the health example. You're motivated to be really healthy with your food. Yep, I'm motivated now. I, I like donuts before. I, I, I eat, I've been eating soft drink all my life coffee, I, you know, I've got my life, a life of eating food, I come back to my home and I'm going to be a vegetarian, like that. I've been a vegetarian, people will come back from Tony Robbins, they've been like a vegetarian for three days, 
and they expect that they're going to be a vegetarian. No, they haven't embodied it. So you need to embody the changes you seek. You need to really embody and bring into your body. I am I am a millionaire. I, I, I am super healthy. I am super loved. I am super great. And you need to get to the point where this is fully congruently in your body to the point where you go back to your environment and you're so strong with your embodiment. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the challenge. This is the challenge here. Knowledge is cheap. You can get it for free. Motivation's cheap. Motivation's free. This is where it's at. It's the embodiment. So to get the most out of your events, no matter who it is, especially for coaching, you need to embody it. And ladies and gents, this is why most coaches fail, because most coaches aren't fully embodying what they teach. A lot of coaches out there will teach you how to be rich, teach you, teach you, maybe get you excited. But the teachers themselves haven't embodied the rich mindset. Uh, someone might call it a financial thermostat or a wealth blueprint. Yeah, I can give you a wealth blueprint here. We'll just write out a wealth blueprint. We'll write it down for you. It won't freaking work unless you embody it. So let me just share one more thing with you here about the embodiment, right? You've got a thing you can search on the internet, neurological levels, my name. Uh, my website, Adrian Cahill, or just uh, search that on Google. Neurological levels, right? Some people say neurological levels came from NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. Well, Robert Dills created it. It's not even NLP or from NLP. In fact, uh, I saw a book recently that said it was Gregory Bateson. Gregory Bateson is an amazing gentleman. He came up with these logical levels. He came with it from somewhere else. So Bateson tidied it up, made it logical levels. Uh, Robert Dills made it really nice. And this is ta taught in a ton, a ton of NLP uh, practicing courses. It's taught in a ton of uh, coaching things. You might possibly see this in Tony Robbins' event, but you can search it in my name and you'll find it. Basically, at our core, we may have God, or we may have a Allah, Allah Akbar. We may have a spiritual connection, or we may have a higher consciousness. We may have a higher awareness to this Holy Spirit. And this Holy Spirit is bigger than us and it's who we are. And we aspire to be a good Christian, a good Muslim, a good Jew, a, a good Jehovah's Witness, whatever it is, our identity is tied up in our spirituality and it comes out in our values and who we are. Now the identity level is largely formed in, in our first years of life. Our mum and dad saying, you're a good boy, good boy, you're a good boy. For a lot of people, you know, you're dumb. A lot of people have a really poor identity. It sucks. It sucks. But so many people have a poor identity. They've been told they're shit. They've been told they're not worth it. They've been told all this negative stuff. And it's going into their head, and into their head, into their head, into their head, into their head. They, they've stopped telling them they suck. They've moved out of home, but the voices are still in their head now. Perhaps an ego or voices are telling them they're shit, they're shit, they're shit, they're shit. And they come out into the world and, and their head is telling them they're shit. That's their identity. That is terrible, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely terrible. That's why I love the events, actually. That's why I love personal development. Because we, we help people change their identity. That's how my coaching works. I have someone embody and transform. So neurological levels, you could check up if you like a bit more uh, about the number one model. Uh, Tony Robbins uses this. Uh, Tony Robbins was largely influenced by NLP, if you didn't know. Uh, firstly, I think it was Jim Ron and then NLP. He trained under John Grinder. I remember being in the room with John Grinder a few months ago, and John Grinder and Carmen Bostick was talking. <laughs> it was hilarious. Said, I remember when Tony Robbins was here. Carmen, you're beautiful. I remember listening to Carmen and John in a room of like 50 trainers. 50 trainers in a room. Tony Robbins event. 2,000 people, 5,000, 10,000 people. Adrian Cahill, an event with 50 people learning from John Grinder. And Tony Robbins was there. That's how we learned NLP, right? 
So NLP is great, but a lot of uh, NLP coaches don't really get to embody. It takes a lot of hard work to embody. It takes a lot of hard work to embody. Now Tony Robbins will teach this. He teaches it in his Date with Destiny. Tony Robbins talks about him stomping along the beach. I am the greatest. 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 And you might get to an event and you're going to scream, I am the greatest. And you do all this screaming stuff and stomping stuff. And that is, that is an attempt. That's the attempts to embody the changes. Now, what you want to do is you got to play 110%. You got to play 110% to embody it. And then he'll give you some exercises. And what you need to do is you need to tell your family and those around you that when you come back, when you come back, well, honey, when I come back from Tony Robbins, I'm going to be doing things a bit different. And I really want you to support me. Or mom and dad, when I come back from Tony Robbins, I'm going to be different. I want to be different. I really want to be a better version of myself. When I come back, can you please support me? Encourage me. If you can. Mum, dad, partner, can you encourage me and support me to do my morning rituals, my night rituals? Can you support me with my morning rituals and my night rituals? Okay. Can you support and encourage me to do my rituals and make the changes? Okay. Because he'll tell you, you have this stomping around and you're going, I'm the greatest. But the thing is to really, really make it work. When you get home, you want to keep on embodying when you get home. That way, when you get home, you're still doing it. Because look, the human brain will change from two different ways. One, something big and tragic, like a surprise, like your fucking kid dies. Bankruptcy. Divorce. Heart attack, big surprise, life and death, that can change your life. Or repetition, 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 repetition. So you can wait till you have a heart attack, someone close to you dies, or you can do repetition. I suggest repetition. So when you get home, you repeat, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, repeat your embodiment, repeat your rituals, repeat it. The human brain will change from that shock or repetition. Studies show, I used to do heaps of that neuroscience research stuff. Six weeks, six weeks for the brain to change shape. People don't always realize. A lot of the times after six weeks, they can tell, you know, through the brain, waves and scans, six weeks to do the transformation. So you need to ensure you embody and work hard on your rituals. Firstly, till it becomes a habit. Secondly, till you really embody it. Six weeks, the changes are taking place. Stay with it. Eight weeks, 12 weeks, 16 weeks, stay with it. You should start seeing results when you get back from Tony. And then three months later, you're going to be there embodied, embodied. I also kind of recommend, I really recommend coaching. One reason coaching is so powerful is because every week, every week, anyone, in fact, one, one out of all my clients, only one didn't get a result. <laughs> and uh, his wife called me up. She thanked me. She thanked me and paid me. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't the happiest, but his wife called me up thanked me and paid me. And that's because when I work with my clients, I generally work for a minimum of six months. Because six months equals full embodiment. Six months, I'll push my clients to meditate. I'll push them to connect with their heart. I'll push them to use heart maths, uh, muse, or uh, walk on the beach. I might even push them to do sunrise walks. I might push them to a 5 a.m. club. I might push them to a Harvey Echo or some wannabe thing, I'll push them to change. I'll push them and hold them accountable. I'll hold them accountable to change. Just why coaching is really powerful. Uh, Tony Robbins, where they will upsell their coaching programs. You can check it out. Uh, I'm personally, uh, actually, I met one of their coaches and she was fantastic and her friends are on the training. So 
you can look at their coaching programs or other coaching programs. We've got other videos about how to tell the real coaches from the fakes. Be aware, let's say there's 5,000 people at Tony Robbins. Every time there's 5,000 people at Tony Robbins, there's about 2,000 new life coaches on the market. So there's a lot of life coaches that come out of Tony Robbins now like they're going to be a life coach. Truth is, they're still working on their own stuff. It's great. God bless them. God bless them. Great big hearts. Probably a lot of ego as well. Give them a, give them a few years, maybe five years, and they'll be at a, at a horrible place. So, yeah, highly, highly recommend getting a coach. Most importantly is the embodiment. And, and overall, I think the most important thing is that your family knows to support and encourage you with your morning routines the afternoon routines and help you commit to, to, to doing your full embodiment exercises afterwards, okay? So I really hope you get the most out of your events. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, excellent to serve you. Uh, I've got a few videos, I'll be frank and open up. Yeah, I do coaching, but I'm all about results. I don't care how many people view, I don't care if you like this or not. It's all about change. Be the change.